I'm Joe Craig, Interim Director of the UCCS Economic Forum, and welcome to a new year. Today, we're doing another edition of our weekly snapshot. We're going to talk about the state of Colorado as a whole and where El Paso County fits in there. The data for this talk today comes from the LEAD School of Business up in Boulder. They recently hosted their annual Colorado Business Economic Outlook Forum. Our friends at Leeds project that while we won't have as much activity on home building in 2021 and 2022, that for the year of 2023, we will still have more building activity than the yearly building activity from years 2006 to 2019. They also predict a 1.5 increase in employment for 2023 for the non-durable goods. These are goods that last less than a year and a 2.0.2% decrease in durable goods employment, those that last more than a year for 2023. What's really interesting to me for the state is the rise in software publishing, which grew for the eighth consecutive year in 2022 and is reaching employment on par with what we saw in the dot-com era. They do expect a shortage of labor in this industry, specifically in 2023, and for most of high-skilled industries in the state. To sum up, some of the positives they find are employment growth, wage growth, consumption, and income growth. Some of their key negatives are inflation, labor participation, although Colorado ranks second in participation rate among U.S. states, and energy prices. Overall, while they are worried about a 2023 recession, they see Colorado as well-positioned to navigate it. Thanks again for listening in to the weekly snapshot, and as always, if you have suggestions for future snapshots, please let us know.